ready to bomba. bomba. Welcome everyone. I am Bomba Live co-host Dioneli Reyes. And I have the pleasure of introducing the first Bomba Live episode recorded in front of a live audience in our home city Ooh. of Philadelphia. <laughs> On behalf of the Pyramid Club, SBX Productions, Bomba Live, and our sponsor, the National Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce, we welcome you to this celebration of Philly's dynamic Latinx community in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm proud to introduce my pre-show special guest, the founder of the Latin Podcast Awards and the Audio Dice Network, Felix Montelara. Wow, Dionelli, muchas gracias. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here with you guys. So, Felix, not Felix, Felix. Felix, I am Felix. How does it feel as a Latino podcast pioneer to be part of this special Bomba Life celebration? Wow, it's... Pretty awesome. I, I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. I, I met Ray Rafael about 10 years ago, and I remember just going, dude, you're awesome. You need to start a podcast, and you need to do all this good stuff because you need to get this message out there. The stuff that he's working on is stuff that very few people dare to do and say in public, okay? And that's one thing that I was like, I need to mentor you, I need to work with you, I need to do whatever it takes. So when he said, I'm gonna do the first live, I'm like, I'm there. <laughs> and where did you fly from oh, to be I, here? I hail from Montgomery, Alabama. Oye, eso so merece un aplauso. So Latin Podcast Awards honored us as a winner for best video podcast in 2022. Tell us about the 2023 Latino Podcast Award Show coming up this Saturday. Well, let me tell you first about winning the 2022, okay? Here, here's the deal. The Latin Podcast Awards, we do a lot of audio, but we do, we do have a show that we do a ceremony every year. So I was like, you need to put in the show for 2022 because the video that you do and the program that you broadcast it's a very good quality, and I think it has a chance of winning. So I don't control who wins in the Latin Podcast Awards. I'm just one more judge. It gets added, and then we put our algorithm on it, and then the winners come out, and I'm as surprised as everybody else. And when I saw that Ray won, I was like, this is pretty awesome, because I couldn't even tell him, you know, you got somebody that you really love, and you can't say, hey, ganate. You know, you can't <laughs> do that. <laughs> you just kind of keep quiet until the day comes of the ceremony. So. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to be here in the first Bomba Live, live. Like with a live audience, that's, that's amazing. Right. So, <laughs> thank you, Felix. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Welcome to Bomba Live, co-host Cristina Vega and the host and founder of Bomba Live, Ray Collazo. Thank you, Dianelli. Thank you, Felix. Welcome all of you to this historic live taping of Bomba Live, the show you've been waiting for. Thank you so much for joining us. We are with everyone, people watching this on YouTube, around the country and around the world. We are at the iconic Pyramid Club, literally on top of Philadelphia with the best view in the city. We are here with the, the flyest audience. There's no question about that. Because this is not just the show you've been waiting for. As Felix said, I believe this will become known as the best Latino podcast in the country, and it's going to happen because of the people you're going to hear from today and the people that all, all of you that have been supporters. And by the way, Philly, con estilo de nosotros. Thank you all so much for being here. I want to introduce one of my many co-hosts and collaborators, the, one of the co-founders of the Bomba Live show the, and the founder of Love Shouldn't Hurt, an incredible organization that supports um, the most vulnerable in our community, and the Philly Salsetta herself, Christina Vega. What's up, girl? Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I grew up with half of y'all. I know how loud y'all get. I know how ratchet y'all have gotten in the past. <laughs> so I know we can get a little louder for Christina. Give it up for Christina Vega. That's, that's oh, it. Wow. See, yeah, see, that's more like it. Thank you, Dro. That's what I'm wow. used to. See, I grew up in Hunting Park. I, like I know how that it is. Let's go. Let's go, Christina. <laughs> tell people watch. See, tell people that are going to watch this on YouTube what they're missing here. The, the vibe here is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. And I, I want to give a shout out because uh, many of the people in the audience are my people. So. Oh. <laughs> That just party means for sure. I have a ca caliber of friends in the room. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> 
Welcome, everybody. We're super psyched to be here. We do this all the time through the computer, so it's exciting to do it in front of a live audience and in front of most of the people that I love most. Uh, we're excited to have all of you here. Thank you so much to SBX Productions for being our producer, the National Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce, everyone who is here tonight. We want to thank DJ Dro for helping us with the music. We want to thank Omi for that great salsa lesson and Art by Sir for Doing being her thing here. Over there. Much We're love, excited. We feel like this is the party of the year no because question. we literally are on top of the city, like you said. So it's exciting. It is exciting. I want to. Um, I have one more shout out to give. I want to give a shout out to my amazing wife, my rock. We just celebrated our 16 year wedding anniversary. <laughs> Michelle Coyasso in the house. And Michelle wants to thank all of you because the, what, the, when I'm doing Bomba Live and I'm on YouTube and I'm organizing these shows, that's less she has to hear from me and all my yapping. So <laughs> she's very grateful for all of you for enjoying our content and our conversations here. Christina, it's so important, um, not only as a media personality with Bomba Live and your own uh, platforms, but as the founder of Love Shouldn't Hurt, an organization that supports uh, domestic violence survivors, that we create our own platforms to give a voice to our community. I think it's exciting to see everyone in here, but I, th I think many times people kind of don't realize the dynamic the Hispanics have, correct? So when you think growing up in our barrios, right? Puerto Ricans were like, you know, the low and Dominicans and, and Cubans, and they didn't see Puerto Ricans or any type of Hispanic as somebody of high caliber, but look at this room. We have people of all types of calibers. We have council people, we have lawyers. We have all types of different people, which for me is super important to show that Latinos are almost the majority of, of, of this city and even our country, and we are not the low of the low. We are actually very, very much the, the better people, the more quality people, I like to say. So it's a, it's a testament to who all of you are in this room. So thank you so much for being here. And I would just take it a step further is that it's one thing to be accomplished, and many of you have incredibly compelling stories that I hope in the future we can continue to highlight on Bomba Live and have your own platforms. But we also are connected to our community. It's one thing to be successful and forget about where you came from, but you're here because you do have a connection to our community. You want to give back, and that is a, a part of the, the soul of the Bomba Live family. So I want to thank all of you for coming out tonight and continue, because all of y'all on some level have been on the show, supported my show, listened to me when I kept yapping about the dream I had about doing podcasts when it was a very weird thing 10 years ago to talk about podcasting. Felix Montalada was the first Puerto Rican I knew that had a podcast besides me. Um, and so I want to thank all of you for being so supportive of this dream. And this is a big step in that journey. But we're going to keep the party going. There's a lot of great people that are part of the Bumba Live team. And I want to introduce the one of many of our collaborators you're going to hear from, the Philly Rican herself, Philly Boricua herself, Vanessa Maria Graver. Vanessa, get on stage. Welcome. <laughs> Vanessa, oh. it's lit up in here. Talk to me. Wepa, we're at the Pyramid Club, y'all. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Um, shout out again to the Pyramid Club and SBS Productions. And I want to shout out my crew over here, the National Association of Hispanic Journalists Philly Chapter. <laughs> Very punctual bunch. They were the first ones here. That's right. Well, journalists, you know, we're good with deadlines and things. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. You have a question. Vanessa, as Bomba Live's community journalist, why do you think that it's important that Bomba Live highlight all of the things that are happening, not only just here in Philadelphia, but in and in the nearby cities, but even on you know our islands? Why do you think it's important for us to highlight that? Well, I mentioned NAHJ because our hashtag is more Latinos in news, right? Most of the newsrooms here in Philadelphia and across the country lack diversity. We do not have a lot of people that look like us on television, both on the entertainment side and the news side. And even growing up watching Telemundo and Univision, you saw very European, white looking people. You didn't see indigenous people. You didn't see black Afro Latinos. You didn't see no. thick women like me on TV, okay? <laughs> and so, when I first met Ray, I, I started a community radio station here in Philly, WPPM, which stands for People Powered Media on 106.5 FM. And I recruited um, Ray <laughs> because I, uh, somebody tagged you in a post and I, I was looking for smart Latino commentary, news and analysis 
on current events and politics because I felt like that voice was really missing from the airwaves. You definitely don't hear it on NPR and WHYY, and you really don't see it in a lot of online media. And so when we first started doing uh, Found in Translation and Bomba Live on WPPM and Philly Cam, it really was to represent because representation is really important. When I was growing up as a kid, there was a lot of women role models for me in media, but there wasn't a Latina journalist that I looked up to like on Action News or NBC 10 or whatever on the Inquirer. And so I, I looked to other black women and other women of color to inspire me. And so I hope by our presence, you know, us you know, being on all the platforms, radio, TV, online, YouTube, that we can inspire young people to say, you know what, those people are like me and we have a voice and representation is important. And the other thing is that when I was doing research as a grad student, I was digging through media archives in Philadelphia and there was no Latino media voices, right? So as a media historian, I couldn't find examples of things that were happening. As you know, in the 70s, there was a large booming Puerto Rican movement happening in the Spring Garden area of Philadelphia. There was a lot of discrimination. There was a lot of things going on and that wasn't documented in the media. So we were invisibilized like many Latino communities across the country. So this here is a living history. We're documenting for the future people who are looking back in time and they're gonna be like, oh, that's what was popping in, the, in 2020, right? Like 2021, 22. And it's really important for us to tell our own story in our own voice for a culturally appropriate audience. And it's really important that we show the diversity among Boricuas, among Latinos, right? We're not all the same. We have a lot of different political opinions. We have a lot of different um, interests and ideas. And so I think by doing this show and having this cast of characters, you see the differences among us, right? Like there's things that join us together, but there's things that make us really unique. And so having debate, having thoughtful discussion on current events is really important in a media landscape that doesn't really give us a lot of space and ownership over media platforms where we get to do that. And being as though we're the largest growing minority population in the United States, we need to carve out our own space, we need to build an alternative media infrastructure, and we need to document our existence and put forth our point of view. My man, Vanessa got us at church right now. That's Thank right. you, Vanessa. Preaching. Vanessa, now we gotta get to some serious business. For those loyal Bumba Live fans that subscribe, and y'all, I gave y'all a QR code. I can't make it any easier for you to subscribe to the Bubba Live YouTube channel. We actually released an episode today that Vanessa was on. We have started a WEPA segment where we ask these Puerto Rican litmus test questions. Y'all can play along in the audience. So I'm going to ask Vanessa this very important, very pertinent question. Vanessa, acapurrias or bacalaitos? Hold on. Hey, right, Vanessa. So I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> well, at some point yes, you ate them. there are Puerto Rican vegans and vegetarians, right, okay? Vanessa, you've been eating, you ate them for Prior a High blood pressure, y'all. Um, <laughs> Prior to that, Vanessa. Okay, but so before I became a vegetarian and was, you know. Vanessa, bacalaitos acapurias. You, you ate them when you were a little kid. <laughs> Abuela made them. You, went, you were in Hunting Park. Let's get to it. Acapurias, of course. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Are there, are there any Bacalaito fans in the house? I'm a, I'm bacalaito, a bacalaito person. Bacalaito. Thank you. No, Come no, on. but there's Come something special now. about taking the, you know, the, um, the guineos and making the masa no doubt. No doubt. and adding All the, the sazon. It's a beautiful and thing. I think Acapulco is disgusting. That's right. In first opinion. Christina has, hold on. We're going to get more controversial here. Christina has. But, a but very if someone makes a vegetarian Acapulco in Philly, please let me know because I definitely will be a All buyer. right, guys. All right. Little Hold on, everybody got it? Christina's got a real heavy question for y'all. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. We'll get your opinion on it. Don't worry about it. Come on, Christina. J-Lo or Mark Anthony? Ooh. So if it comes to singing, Mark Anthony is clearly the better singer, right? <laughs> that man has talent. But as a, you know, a Boricua woman who grew up in the 90s, it's J-Lo, right? J-Lo's our queen. She's a style right. icon. She's a media All mogul. Right, okay. And, you know, I think that she has shown that women can be moguls and business owners and start production companies and all of that. So 
her she she has um a production company that is is for exactly the thing that I'm talking about more jobs and 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 roles and scripts that are for Latinos and for that reason J Lo is my choice. All right, all right, all right. How many right. J Lo fans here? How many in people voted for J Lo? Okay. Where do you think, Christina? She's the queen. Where do you think, Christina? I mean, normally I would say J Lo. But today I'm gonna go against the grain and say Mark, cause Mark and his music have gotten me through Ooh, some time. But really, Bad Bunny is the fucking dude. Coming right? out with his album tonight. Bad Bunny, I'm, Bad Bunny. I'm, I'm gonna say J Lo because she takes care of her kids. I mean, that's the bottom line. So, hey, I, I, y'all don't want to talk that about it. That was an easy right. answer. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Let's give it up for Vanessa Maria Graver. Thank, Thank you, you, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Make sure you listen. We do this for y'all. Like, all, all of our commentary, the research, the interviews, the guests that we bring, we do it for you. We're trying to build our audience. So please subscribe, please watch our show, and please share it, and let people know that there's some dope Latinos in Philadelphia bringing you some really amazing content on Bomba Live. So thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Vanessa. We're gonna bring on stage next the executive director of the National Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce, who's also a local Puerto Rican businessman, Joel Berocal. Joel. Joel. Hey, saludo, mi gente. Joel is, amongst other things, the center for the Puerto Rican basketball team. It There's is. not too many Puerto Ricans yeah. you're going to find as tall as Joel. Right. So thank you for being here Absolutely. and making me feel even shorter than I am. Thank you, Joel. I think that's, that, that's our, our introduction. Every time I see Joel, I'm always like, why are you so tall? Every time we were on the screen together, I never knew how big he was. And then I met him in person, and I'm like, I'm little, you're too big for me. Joel, we want to thank you for sponsoring tonight's events and just to giving to our community. Tell us a little bit why or how uh, the National Chamber of Commerce supports Puerto Rican business owns here and on the island. Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for having me follow Vanessa and all that energy. I, I, man, I'm, I'm a behind the scenes guy, so me. I don't, I don't bring the same energy she does. But, but um, in terms of our work with the chamber, um, we're, we're in a point right now where we're, we're trying to be the most impactful pro-business Boricua organization in the country. We've got chapters growing in New York to California, Florida to Chicago, and Puerto Rico. Estamos metiendo mano también. All right. Um, so we, we, and part of the reason we wanted to be part of this, I mean, besides Ray's my brother, so anything he does, I'm, I'm there 100%. Um, pero one of the things we do, we're at a point now where we really want to launch our, our Philly Chamber. We've had members in the area for a long time, but now we're, looking, we're at a point where we really want to get going and, and really um, continue to advocate for the, the Boricuas here and the island. And essentially, we look to be the bridge between the Boricuas here in the diaspora and in La Isla. So that's, that's all right, it. So thank you, Joel. Joel has put out a challenge for all of us. Joel wants the Philadelphia chapter of the National Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce, which has chapters in the, in the states and on the island, to be the best chapter. Uh, and I think it should be the top chapter of the whole network. Can we make that happen, fam? Yes, we can. All right. There are a lot so we're gonna of have a little, we're gonna influential draft folks a couple of y'all. So we, we've got a couple local business people that have shared a little interest in being part of the chamber. So we're gonna have them on stage and, and uh, get them ready to be part of the National Puerto Rican Chamber. Can we have Jennifer Hardy? and Maria Luisa and, and if Lu, Luce Lope, if she's available, to come on stage. Just share the mic. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jennifer, just let, us, let people know quickly your, uh, your name and your business. All right, so my name is Jennifer Gomez Hardy. Hi, everybody. You guys looking so beautiful. Okay. I'm half Puerto Rican, half Dominican. I am a Puerto... There you go. Thank you so much. I am an attorney. I do all personal injury work. Gomez Law Group, you guys follow me. I have like 10 followers on Instagram, so come on, I need my followers up. Um, you'll see me at jgo.hardesquire on Instagram, so look me up. But we also own a few bars in the city, so if you guys are interested, you guys want an another libration, come check us out at Lou and Choose. It's at 21st and Hunting Park. We have karaoke night. Some of my good friends here have uh, take the mic and did some unthinkable things. Uh, <laughs> but we also have some other bars. But thank you so much for having us. We appreciate you. Just name and business, please. Hi, guys. <laughs> Sorry, that's all out. Hi, guys. I want to thank Ray for inviting me here today. 
My name is Maria Luisa, and I am the owner of Malu Aesthetics. I'm a licensed esthetician, and I am over in Turnersville, New Jersey. Um, I specialize in skin of color, hyperpigmentation, and acne scarring. And Maria is uh, raffling a $50 gift certificate tonight for her business, so definitely support her. Luz. Hello, this was a surprise. I was not prepared for this. You guys are sneaky. Um, I'm Lucelania Loeb. I am the president of the Philadelphia National Conference of Puerto Rican Women chapter. I do photography, as you can see, real estate and scholarships, so jack of all trades. Um, been in the Philadelphia area for many years and basically trying to do for the community what I've done for my own family. Thank you so much, Lou. So, Joel, as the sponsor, y'all gotta give it up to Joel. Y'all right, drinking on this dime, away. so you gotta don't give go Joel away. a lot of love tonight. Joel right is here. graciously. Maria, um, come back. Yeah, Joel is graciously um, is going to give these three young uh, Latina small business owners a free one year membership to the chamber. Yes. So they can, we can really kick off the, the Philadelphia chapter in style. So, Christina is gonna now anoint them. Yeah, as ambassadors a, to the National Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce. We, we don't have a gavel. We're going back to church, fam. That's right. We don't have a gavel, ladies, so we're going to do it like we do in church. Te voy a bautizar. Right? So you guys, I, I'm not going to be disrespectful and do the sign of the cross. <laughs> but I, we're going to baptize each of you. Boom! Right there. Boom! Boom! So you guys can help us with the Philadelphia chapter. Let's give it up for these ladies. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. You, Thank you so Joelle, much. You stay there. You give it to Vince. I want to know, as we wrap up the show, are there any uh, Philadelphia Eagle fans here? Any Philly fans as we approach game four, Red October? Well, we have a great sports connection and uh, with the Pyramid Club. XPS Productions is now, are now the exclusive producers of Bomba Live and former WIP personality, Go Birds podcast, and uh, Man About Town. Vince Quinn um, is part of the team at XBX Productions that's producing the show, and uh, he's been gracious enough to share a few moments with us. Give it up for Vince Quinn, XBX Productions. Vince, when we first met, I know you were like, this guy talks a lot, but I think we've uh, quickly established a real connection between XBX Productions, Bomba Live, and the Content Club and the Pyramid Club, so it's, this is all we're about, brother. Well, yeah, it is what we're all about, and that's why, like, Shout out to everybody. It's a Thursday night. It's a school night. Look at all you people out here on a school night. You don't know night. Puerto Ricans that well, dog. This is like yeah. <laughs> everyday great. operation, you know. Yeah, it's, it, it's great. But, I mean, we've had so many great conversations and, and everything that we've talked about, what is the idea, right? It, it's about community and using content as that means to connect with people digitally, in person. In this case, getting businesses together. I, I mean, this is a network. This is an ecosystem. And for everybody out there, I mean, shake hands tonight. Meet people. Get to know somebody because... That's what this is all about. This is opportunity. Everybody here in the room. So, you know. Let I, people I, know, Vince, really quickly about the Content Club. Anyone in the room here, even if you're not a member of Pyramid Club, can be part of the Content Club here at the Pyramid Club and learn about, from their production studio, best practices about podcasts and, and content marketing. That's exactly it. We actually have a meeting on Tuesday. So Tuesday night here, 6 o'clock. The whole idea is like, look, if you're a business owner, content is hard. If you're a content person, Business is hard, so let's all get in the same room. Let's talk about stuff. Let's solve problems. We do that once a month, podcast every week, Philly Content Club on Instagram. Vince and I are going to be raffling Thank off you, a happy hour. We can hang out with us here at the Pyramid Club and learn about the work the Content Club and XBX Production is doing. If you've seen an upgrade in the video quality of the show, it's because of the team, Chandler Kadatis, who's our technical producer, and John Barchin, who's president of the club. Thank you so much, Vince. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, Dionelli and Felix will be back later to announce winners of the raffle. We will have prizes by the National Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce, the Latin Podcast Awards, Love Shouldn't Hurt, Lucas Rivera, Esthetician Manlu, and Bomba Live. All right. I just want to thank all of you for being here. If you're here, you're family, and I really want to I appreciate everyone for being here for a really a dream come true. Enjoy the rest of the party after we, we close up here. Uh, we can, you can feel free to go to the bar and dining area to watch the Phillies game and continue to enjoy company. Bomba, let's go, Drell. Let's party. <laughs>